Hi, I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana. Today we're going to talk about screen readers. So let's say that you had very low vision or you had no ability to see at all. How would you use a computer system? Well, that's where we use a screen reader. Now I'm going to show here on the computer today how somebody would use a program called JAWS and there are other co uh, programs called Window Eyes, another one called Dolphin and one called NVDA that we'll talk about later to uh, send an email or to access a web page or something like that. So go here with me on the screen and we're going to check out how to use a screen reader. Okay, you'll see on my desktop here I have a number of icons sitting around and I have a program called JAWS running down here. It's on the taskbar. And so if I had no ability to see the screen, I would use a keyboard instead of a mouse and I would do things like this. Hit the start button and I would arrow up to notepad. And I can go to any program I'd like. I hit enter. And you can, hear, you can hear that the voice is giving me feedback on what I'm typing, what's coming up on the screen, and those kind of things. So if I want to type a letter, D-E-A-R space M-O-M period enter I-S-P-A-S-P-U-L-I-X-A-S-P-A-S-R-E-E-S-R-E-A-D-E-R space And you'll notice it echoes each keystroke as I type it. I can also arrow around and have it read things back to me. Dear mom, I am using a screen reader to type this message. I can navigate menus. Alt F menu, exit X. It'll talk to me when it has a message to give me. Enter menu bar, leaving menu bar, notepad dialog. Do you want to save changes to the title? Save button to activate, press space bar, Alt plus S, tab. Don't save space, dialog to navigate, use tab. And so in this example, I use JAWS, which is one example of a screen reader. Again, other ones are Window Eyes and NVDA and, uh, and uh, Dolphin. To, to do a very basic message, but you can use the same program to send an email or navigate a web page or use pretty much any program. So that's your tech tip for this week. I'm Wade Wingler with the Indata Project in Indiana.